that sense. The fact that the Sultan himself contributed in this mosque by building something here. And even in terms of what he's contributed is magnificent in terms of detail. So, uh, it's a very organic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great, it's, it's, it's just great. And, um, you know, a lot of people would tell me that this is, looks European to them, which is interesting when I say, or they say it looks like a church. Right, Actually, right, right. what's interesting is in Oxford, there is a church that's modeled on this. Um, so, um, you know, even the British came here, saw something and took uh, an image of this back. Um, but people forget, Hagia Sophia was a church. Hmm. People forget that the architect of Fatih was a Greek um, who built, and you'll see the windows, they like the style of the church mm -hmm. and so forth. Mm -hmm. Mosques mm -hmm. are a reflection of the Islamic culture, mm. and these are a reflection of the times. So, Just to, just to finish us off, really, mm. um, people who are now maybe, you know, people come to Istanbul, yeah. they'll visit Fatih Jami, yeah. they'll visit Ayub Sultan, yeah. they'll visit you know, I, I, I actually purposefully mm. would try not to visit Sultan Ahmed because yeah. I thought it's just a touristy yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, we weren't the first time, it was under restoration so yeah. we can't see anything. The people visit all of these different masajid, but this masjid is maybe not a place that the Muslims it, come. It, well, what is your message really for the Muslims? Come, come and see it. Yeah. I mean, you know, like we, we are in some shape or form like impressed by Abdul Hamid II and yet we don't see the mosque that he created and built and in this that was sense. his I don't know what the word would be this, this, this was his center this was the mosque that was supposed to be the center of the Hamidian period yeah. right and it's a shame for me that not only international Muslims but Turks as well don't come and see this mosque and don't come here and appreciate this and um, I want more and more people to see this because this is also part of their history it's not part of their history or something they should be ashamed of is something part of the history that they should embrace as part of that memory and you know um, this mosque has reflections of Cordoba of Andalusia this mosque has reflections of the Ottoman period this mosque has reflections of something which is you know like I said a, a, a imprint of the Sultan himself and that you don't see often um, don't get me wrong Fatih Jami and Soleimani are magnificent in themselves this should be included in that narrative. People should come here and see it. And if anybody wants more information on, on this, I, I recommend Dr. Yaku's amazing article from Middle East Eye uh, on the Yildiz Jami. And uh, check it out, inshallah. We'll put a link in the description. And just generally, Dr. Yaku's got loads of videos for us at the Krima Foundation. So be sure to check them out. And you might even meet Asim al-Kashmiri while you're there as well. <laughs>